So the difference between Christian theology about God and Muslim theology about God boils down to the key characteristic. The key characteristic of God in the Christian faith is love. The key characteristic of Allah in the Islamic faith is his power, his sovereignty. Why is he worth worshipping? Why is he worth worshipping? There you go. You've just said it again. You agree with me. Yeah. He's not a liar. You're calling your book a liar. He's just quoting your book at you. You called him a liar for quoting your book. A leaf falls off a tree. Yeah. Who causes the leaf to fall to the ground? Yeah, nothing what happens in the universe the but, but, but by the will of God. So if my Quran falls to the floor, does that happen because of the will of Allah? Of course. Wow. No, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. He dropped. He dropped from his pocket. Yeah, yeah. It dropped, it dropped out of your pocket. Yeah. Man. And who's responsible for that? Me or Allah? Who's responsible for the fact that the Quran fell out of my pocket? It's your responsibility. You don't care. Responsibility. No. You who didn't take care of it. To fall? And what you. did you do? No, 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 I put the Quran in my pocket. I didn't drop it. You're the guy. Listen, listen, You're the guy that drops the Quran. Just remember, he's the guy that drops the Quran in it. Just remember that. So that's why, that's why I am not going to shake him. That's why I'm not going to shake his hand in it. Simple as that. You don't have the intention to trip up, but you trip up and you fall down. Did Allah cause you to fall down? You not paying your own attention made you fall down. Did Allah cause you to fall down? So Allah did not create the action of falling. He did, but doesn't mean there you go. There you go. Allah created the action of falling. There you go. Right. Thank you. Okay, so is, is Jesus the God? Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. The brother is. The brother is. The me ask you a question. The thing, the thing is, guys. This guy is so irate. He actually has to lie about. It. He has to actually lie. I didn't, I didn't even take what he said. No, the thing is. The thing is. If I wanted to chuck the Quran on the floor, make no mistake, I would have done it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I didn't. Well, then uh, I didn't. No, listen, wait, wait, wait. listen, talk, listen. We were in the midst of the conversation. I was changing books and I put the Quran in my pocket with the thought that it was deep enough. Now, granted, maybe I, you know, right? And then it fell out. Now, here's the thing. If someone lies about someone, do they have to prove it? Yeah. Right, yes. Yes, 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 yes. He has accused me of doing something on purpose. Ask him See, to produce his proof. The hacker, you, one minute it is in your hand. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Is what, what proof do you have? What proof do you have that you didn't drop your purpose? Yeah. 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 Yes, you yes, purpose. yes, the What's camera. Proof that you didn't drop the camera. Okay. Yeah, that it wasn't intentional. Sure. Yeah. Because if a man put, if I put it in my pocket, yeah. right, and rather than just chuck it on the it floor, shows us then what that means is I don't have the intention to chuck it on the floor. It means that I put it in my... Yes, exactly. It means you weren't exactly. self-aware. Exactly, no, self-aware. Exactly. So then You've got me on that. Right, so if I am not self... Because I already told you we don't great, that. Great, so brilliant. You tell me I do, doesn't count. So let me... So let me... How does this apply? So yeah. to answer your question directly. So my conscious decision was to put the Quran in my pocket so I could get it later as part of the argument because I was switching books. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I did not cause by my action for the Quran to fall on the floor. Allah is the one who no, caused the action. You not being self-aware was the action. Did Allah create my lack of self-awareness? So then, wait, if, wait, if, if with your question. logic, Allah's created a test for us where he's already made the answer for us to follow, yeah. which is not what we believe in, so yeah. the answer's wrong. Did Allah you create the action of the Quran falling on the floor? No, you no, did. You did. You just ah, So I participated in an act of creation. Your body and everything did it. So I participated. Clap, I created the clap. My human you create created. the clap. Yes. Is that shirk? So did no, Allah, it's who's the creator? So did Allah tell Sh you to oh preach Christianity? Do you even know what shirk means? What does shirk mean? Tell me. Shirk means, means means, yeah. Shirk means, yeah. Shirk means to worship one other than Allah. Yeah. It means, something. shirk also means, 
to give the attributes of Allah to someone other than Allah. Yeah. Shirk also means to deny the sovereignty of Allah. So the sovereignty yeah, of yeah, Allah yeah, over yeah, yeah. all things. Is so, that the so, definition of shirk? Yes. yes. So there you go. So, so I do know. Wait, 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 so who gave go. us free will? Well, I don't. So, no, no, simple question. Who gave us free will? Hold so on I'm one second. I'm going to do what you just did, but I'll reply back to you. Who gave yeah. us free will? Okay, look, so a grant. Yes and no, please. No, let me finish. I didn't give you hard answers. Don't do it back in, or else I don't want to have okay. this conversation. Okay, assuming the idea of free will is intrinsic within Islam, which I don't necessarily agree, but assuming that it is, yeah. then obviously you would say Allah gave us free will. And that's what we believe in as Muslims. Right. So, with that being said, does free will not play a part in you choosing? Will that exactly. God gave you, so it's not yes. God doing it to you, it's you using the free will that God gave you. Right, but now so I'm, no, hold on, one second. hold on one second, yeah, hold on one second, hold on one second. So we all agree that what happened was that I put the Quran in my pocket and then without my will being involved, yeah, the Quran involved. fell on the floor. So you put the no, no, no. You put it inside, right? Your yeah, I put it inside. So you took the risk of it falling out as well because you didn't put it in And, the yes, so it's your fault, then. but who Not caused much. it to fall out? Your no, lack of your I lack of self awareness. That's it. No. Allah's gravity did that. Allah's gravity did that's, that. That's a base yep. of opinion. That's how Allah you creates you. each <laughs> event. Because, bro, if I put your dean your teaches phone, that yeah, Allah creates each pocket. event. Like so if I don't make the choice to put the Quran on the floor, so then through a series of accidents, the Quran ends up on the floor. Allah is the one that created those series of accidents. Why does Allah protect his word with like rubber? Like, do you believe in determinism or not? Okay, wait, I have a question. Do you believe wait. in God? Do you believe in God? Yes, of course. Do you believe in God? Yes. What's, what's, what's your do you believe in determinism? <laughs> <laughs> do you believe in determinism? I agree that God was the one responsible for the Quran falling on the floor. I agree. I am saying that I agree. I am agreeing with my statement that God was responsible for the Quran falling on the floor. I disagree with that statement. Is it part of Islamic deen to believe in determinism? Is it part of Islamic deen to believe in determinism? Yes. In predestination. What does determinism even mean? Predestination. Is it part of Islamic deen to believe in predestination? That something's no. been set in motion from before. Like that Allah like is the one. Like that Allah is the one who sets out your destiny. Yeah, that's true. There you go. Okay, wait. Yeah, so so Allah destined really my absence no, of mind so that the Quran would fall on the now. floor. If a terrorist comes in and kills that's everyone, that's are you that's saying that's that Allah that's planned that's for that to happen? I am saying that so your. I am saying that in your religion. That's the person's free will. That's no, let me let me answer. You ask me a question. Let me answer it. Okay. I am saying. If we believe Islam, the answer to that question is yes. If we believe in Christianity, the answer to that question is no. What's the difference? Why though? Why? Right. Brilliant the question. The the Brilliant question. So the difference between Christian theology about God and Muslim theology about God boils down to the key characteristic. The key characteristic of God in the Christian faith is love. The key characteristic of Allah in the Islamic faith is his power, his sovereignty. That's the key characteristic not, that he wills, uh, that he wills, and it is. It's not that. It's not no, that. I, 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 so, so in the Christian faith, because God loves you, he wants you to be a free creature so that religion? you come to him. That's the best question. One, one second, one second. Let me answer your first question. Let me answer your first question. So, in the Christian faith, God creates you a free agent because he wants you to freely accept him and enter into a loving relationship. But in Islam, in Islam, the whole point of creation is a demonstration of Allah's power. Is it? Yes. The whole point of creation, according to Islam, is Allah is demonstrating his power and sovereignty. Because that is a demonstration of his majesty. You need to go away and read your own books for no, it, bro. Yeah, yeah. We're not okay. disagreeing until you're done talking. Talk, you're talk. Okay, say, so I'm done. So you're done. Okay, so give me one proof where it says in the Quran that's the reason that he created us. Show me one proof. Surah 10-100. Huh? Surah 10-100. Get it out then. Let me see. Out, so you're saying that the only reason of our creation is for you to demonstrate power. That's what you're saying. That's what it says in the Quran.
He's got a chronic fatigue. I don't fatigue. know those exact words. It says, I don't no, 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 no. Those are his said. words, that's, not yeah, yours. Those are his words. words. So you want those exact words? Not, uh, not, not similar. Like, it's it's similar. Similar. It has to at least be similar. Really it can't around. be completely off. What, what reference did you give? It was Surah 10 100. That was about the destination. Let's have a look. Surah 10 100. Okay. I couldn't even hear you. No soul can believe except by the will of Allah. That's right. Allah's will. He predestines everything. That's right. And he and he will place doubt on those who will not understand. Okay. No, I. Well, I mean, your point was the whole religion was created for him to prove his power. How did that prove that? How did that prove that? Oh, that's a whole different thing. You took out one section without giving the context of the surah, and now want to give us a statement. We did, yeah, we did. And tell me how that proves that religion is based on that. Say that again. It's by Allah's rule anybody. I mean, this is a particular example of the argument, but it's a particular example in that you're you're using it specifically about will. Yeah. It make any sense but it's it talking sense but the guide, the, but, but the thesis the, the thesis the thesis is that the thesis is that the whole of creation is a demonstration of Allah's power and majesty so I would say that we look at al Malik al Malik so if we go to uh, surah 1523 yeah because yours is a particular application, but it's very specific. Even though it makes sense, it's clearly... Doubting those that don't understand means that he's the most powerful, the hell? And verily, it is we who give life and who give death. It is we who remain inheritors. So, Allah is giving life, he is giving death. Why is he doing that? He's the creator. But why is he creating? Because life is a test. Exactly. We're going through the test. So to go to the real after life, you have to die. A test to what? A test of where you're going to go. Right. Same way you guys why go. does he want to test you? Because you have to find out who's going to follow the will and the word of Allah and who is. And why is that important? Because it shows power to Allah and who followed him and who did it. Did you just hear yourself? What do you mean that I hear myself? It showed. It, it just. Sense. It just. It, it wasn't, I agree. It, it makes sense. It no, hold on one second. Said. Hold on one second. It wasn't in the context hold on one second. Said. I, hold on one second, people can make their own decision, but allow me to reply, because what you just said, what tripped out of your own words, yeah exactly, so it was about his power, there you go, yes, yes, there you go, you are agreeing. No. So that's he's the point that I was making. The whole point that we're making and now you explain to us why that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You literally just agree. made the you're same the point. The reason he created us was arrogance and power. That's what you're if trying to say. No, arrogance did not trip out of my words. Arrogance did not trip out of my words. From them agree, and we all agree. We all agree. We all agree. You agree that Allah? No, you agree that Allah. You agree. You agree. I really hope you got that on microphone. I really hope you got that on the microphone. He said it differently. I don't agree with what no, no, he said. Please, what no, Let, no, let's no. do it again. Do you stand by what you said to him? I stand by what I said. I don't stand so by what you said. So you agree? No, yes. No. He didn't make the same You point. just agreed with me. What was my point? What was my point? What I said wasn't what you said. You agree with what you said? What, what was what you said you agree with, right? What, what was my point? You can play the record back, my nigga. What I said wasn't what he said. Yeah, we will. We will. We will. No, brother, wait. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So first, he said that Allah created us to show off his power, right? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Demonstration. Of his power. Allah don't, yes, and why is it important to worship him? Why, why is he worth worshiping? Why is he worth worshiping? There you go. You've just said it again. You agree with me. That is exactly the point that I made. Then maybe you didn't understand the point I made. Maybe you didn't understand the point I made. Okay. Right. No, it's it's identical. He's, He's just agreed with, agreed with what I you said. You said that God created for power. He's saying it's for a test. Yeah, I know he did. He said God, he said God created us because he's the most powerful. Yes. To show off his power. Yeah, that's what he said. And why is the test there? Why the test? The test is to see who will go heaven and who will And why is that important? I've got a question for you. I've answered All right. Okay. People can decide for themselves. Why is it a problem to worship the most powerful? Okay. So, firstly, 
I have never said that it's a problem to worship the most powerful. I've never said that. This whole time, you just said that's the point of Islam, and you try to prove Islam wrong. No, no, you, you're not following the argument. So let me just recap you because you've not kept up with the argument. What I said was, what I said was, I will answer your question. Let me, let me listen. Let me listen. Listen. Let me listen. Listen. Let me listen. Let me listen. Are you listening? Are you listening? He's not listening said that there was a problem in worshipping the most powerful. All that I pointed out was that the principal property in Islamic theology about Allah is Allah's power and the principal property of the, the God of the Christian faith is God's love. And that theology makes for a different, very different religion. I never denied any of that. I never denied any of that. If you remember, it's because it's because you asked me a question. Remember, you asked me a question. The reason why we went down this tangent, why the reason why we went down this tangent, is because you asked me the question about a terrorist coming in and killing people in this park and I replied to your question by saying if we believe in Islam it is Allah's fault if we believe in Christianity it isn't Allah, God's fault and then you said why and that's why I answered the question you see I've remembered every stage of this conversation you have not been listening we both remembered all of that, but your answer doesn't answer our point. You think it's Allah's fault if a terrorist comes into Allah's house. But how does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I was in there. It doesn't say not a liar. You're calling your book a liar. He's just quoting your book at you. You called him a liar for quoting your book. So it's your book you're calling a liar. It's Allah's seas, which means drink. That's what he said. Drink. He wants a drink. All I'm saying is. One of the names of Allah is Allah's seas. The Almighty. I didn't hear one of the names of Allah, yeah, the, the divine actually is one of the names of Allah, yeah. is Al Aziz, the Almighty. That's one of his names. How was that translated? Yeah. Are you shaking? What do you mean? Well, it was it means Almighty. Almighty. He gave you the translation. I don't get the point you're trying so to make. So, what does that mean? So, what, one of his point? divine names is, is Al Aziz. That means that we, 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 we didn't deny his worship. Well, Allah is powerful. We don't deny worship because he's Guys, guys, that's the reason. Can I just tell you what's happening here? We've all got stuck down a rabbit hole. We're not in a rabbit hole. And he has back to my point. We've all got stuck down a rabbit hole and we We've forgotten the main topic of conversation. I'm talking about on his point. Can we go back to the main topic of conversation? Can we go back to the main topic of conversation? Your answer to his question about uh, terrorists bombing here today and down to the two religions, if it was uh, Islam was right, it was yeah. Allah's fault, but if it was Christianity, it wasn't Christianity. Well. Uh, my answer to that is, that answer to his question is not right in my opinion because of the fact that the word free will still applies. So if a terrorist did come here today, it wasn't Allah who sent him. He came here by his own You're free will. You're choosing and picking. Okay. That's why I don't agree with the fact that you said that so if now it was your Islam, opinion based. It's let, let, fault. If it's Christianity, we believe in Allah. You, you, so you've forgotten the main point of the no question. Point. No let sense. me let me just cut to the chase. Yeah, let, let me just cut back to the question. Yeah. Okay, that bird is about to fly off that tree, and there's a leaf that's going to fall off one of these trees. There's no bird. Right? There is a bird. It's literally it's there. It doesn't matter if there's a bird. Literally there. there. Yeah, you, you know, like, I didn't see you're it. so I didn't quick see it. to go, oh, he's lying. No, no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Right? Who causes the leaf to fall to the ground according the to bird. Islam? The bird. Did you say the bird was sat on the. Um, no, listen. Listen to the question. A leaf falls off a tree. Yeah. Who causes the leaf to fall to the ground? There's nothing what happens in the universe yeah, but, but, but by right. the will of God. There you go. But by the will right. of God. So if my Quran falls to the floor, does that happen because of the will of Allah? Of course. There you go. Thank you very oh, much. Yeah. End of debate. No, there you go. No, but what's wrong with that? There you go. No, we agree. I agree. I agree with you completely. I agree with you completely. There you go. What Muslims just told you. We didn't agree with anything. I said, I don't agree with you. Well, you don't agree with him, so now you should debate him. Why is it you don't want to debate him? He said exactly the same thing. So, let's get this straight. That's what I'm saying. Do you get this? Let's get this straight. Right? If all things are fixed their destinies, 
Yeah, but it says it's short at HTC. Read it again. Let me get it up to you. Yeah. He said, no, 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 but I'm going to say it. Bro, bro, bro. It's 87 to 3. I need to get it. That's what you're agreeing, man. No, no, no. It's 87 to 3. He said it. He said it. I'm saying it's by the will of God. How can it be because God being involved doesn't mean it's his fault? And that's the point he's trying to make. How can it be because God? Exactly. So him telling you you're disagreeing with us doesn't mean it's not his fault. He's still on our side. Right. Can we just describe what? Wait, 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 wait. Being the one in control and being the one who's done it. Okay, listen. Sorry, Surah 87. Two to three. Which uh, translation sorry, is sorry, that? Sorry. Okay, so this is the one that was. Surah 2 to 3. It says, Exalt the name of your Lord the Most High, who created and proportioned, and who destined and then guided, and who brings out the pasture and then makes it black stubble. We will make you recite and you will not forget. Accept what Allah would will. Indeed, he knows what is declared and what is hidden. Okay? So Allah is responsible for the color of the grass. Your brother, your brother in Islam, agreed with what I said. He didn't. No? He didn't. Let, let's go back. That's your opinion. One second. Wait, 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 wait. One second. What did I agree to first of all? Exactly. Right. Go, go, go. It's, 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 so it's, what I said was... What I said was... I just explained it to him and he doesn't agree So what I said was, I put the Quran in my pocket yeah. and it fell to the floor. So you're saying it's Allah's fault? I'm saying Allah created the action of fall, the Quran falling to the floor, yes. It's your fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me let me give let me give you another example, yeah? A man kills an ex-man, yeah? yeah. Right? Whose fault is it? We're not talking about human will. No, 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 this is an example. You can give one as well. You're giving an example, I'll give him one too. Yeah. A man kills an ex-man, a man kills your mother, yeah? Right. Is it God's fault? Oh, is it Jesus' fault? Or was it, it, was it a man's fault? Am I answering as a Muslim or as a Christian? No, no, as, as, a, a, as, as yourself. As as a then as a Christian, I would say it's the man's fault. Okay, so, 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 wait, wait, so, so it's not God's fault. Same. Right. So, 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 as a so, Muslim, so, 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 wait, 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 wait. Can I jump in here? No, 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 no. It's not about fault. It's about decree. Will, Decree, cause, and effect. Cause and, effect. And, and free will. And free will, yeah. right, so brilliant. To, so, 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 to say, so, so to say it's God's fault. One second. Oh, right. On, man. Very no, very wait, wait, wait. Can no, I reply no, now? No, no, no. Guys, no, no. I'm going. He's not done yet. He's not done yet. Go on, bro. Go on. To say it's God's will, then you got to apply all that to Jesus as well, haven't you? Okay. I agree. Exactly. It was the will of Jesus Christ that the Quran fell to the floor. I totally agree. And 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 if a Bible falls to the floor, right? Whose will is it? That would always be Jesus' fault. Okay. So what's the problem? So now let me answer the question. Even his Lord. Bilal, let me answer the question. Right. Right. Guys, if you're just going to interrupt, I just end up shouting in the whole. So, guys, guys, listen, 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 listen. Wait, are you not even listening? Okay, I'll just talk to the camera then because they're not listening. Right, so they don't want to listen to what I've got to say, so I'll just talk to the camera. Yeah? Right? So basically, the Muslim said, Notice, did you hear the word fault? Whose fault it was? It was someone's fault. What is a fault in this context? The context of fault in this context is a willful decision. So someone makes a choice. So according to Islam and according to the Muslim, Allah is the one who made the choice that the Quran should fall to the floor, not me. So whose fault is it? Because I tried to put the Quran safely in my pocket, but Allah chose that it should fall to the floor. No, the brother goes and he says, well, you Christians believe the same. He's absolutely right. We really do believe the same. Yahweh was responsible for the Quran falling to the floor. Now, what's really intelligent, and I hope you caught this, is that when the Muslim said what I said, the Muslim had the other Muslim had no problem with it. And he said, I've got no problem when he says it because he's a Muslim. But when you say as a Christian, I have a problem. Now, furthermore, fault requires a willful decision. So it was Allah's willful decision 
according to Muslims, for this Quran to fall to the floor. I am guilty of absent-mindedness. Yes, I agree my fault, because I have free will, according to the Christian worldview. But it was God's fault, God's decision, for his book to fall to the floor, and the Muslims can't accept that Allah willed his book to fall for the floor. There we go. Yes! I don't want job. Guys, Islam is intellectually busted. You need to leave Islam. It doesn't stack up to criticism. And Muslims can't make any intelligent criticism of Christianity. As we caught on camera, all, the only criticism that they can marshal against the Christian faith is to lie. Takia. Okay. I'm really done now. Really done now.